You've probably got them all around your home. Plastics made with the chemical bisphenol A. But there are concerns that BPA could pose a health hazard. And many people are wondering if we should be using them at all. Kirk Williams reports. Are you thirsty? Chances are 17-month-old Deanna is more interested in her spaghetti than all the plastic that is part of her modern life. Her sippy cup, the water jug behind her, even her booster chair. Well, thanks for coming. I, you know, I've been watching. Oh, no but her mom has questions about just what kinds of plastic are okay for her family. Well, what's okay and what's not? And Matthew Sasaki is part of a coalition that has been trying to get plastics containing bisphenol A or BPA off the shelves. He points to studies showing how BPA mimics hormones in the body and has links to cancer. If you're concerned about the bisphenol A, it tends to be in things that are called polycarbonate plastics, which will tend to have in this little tiny plastic, or sorry, this little tiny triangle, it'll have a number seven, and it will probably say PC on it. The worry is that BPA may leach into food and liquids, especially if they're hot. We've started washing them by hand mm -hmm. in warm water, mm -hmm. not in the hot water, and then we, we stopped putting these in the microwave. The problem is not all plastics with a 7 on the bottom contain BPA, and some plastics have no labels at all. Yeah, there are no symbols or anything on here. Again, The rule of thumb is that soft plastics are safer because they do not contain BPA. We err on the side of caution. We try and use plastics as little as possible. Sasaki uses glass or ceramics at home. Consumer concerns have resulted in plummeting sales of plastics with BPA, so much so that retail giants like Walmart, The Bay, and Canadian Tire are pulling them from the shelves, not even waiting for an expected Health Canada announcement listing BPA as a potentially dangerous substance. Adding BPA to a list of potentially hazardous chemicals is one thing, but advocates want the government to go further. They want all products containing BPA to be labeled and eventually have them removed from shelves altogether. Kirk Williams, CBC News, Vancouver. Or something. This family cut almost all plastics out of their lives a few years ago, before having two-year-old Miles. We're, we're playing a, a real game of Russian roulette with our children and with our health, uh, which is not just bad for us, but it's also ex extremely expensive, um, health care costs and whatnot. And just across the street from Mountain Equipment Co-op's Vancouver store, rival A.J. Brooks Outfitters discontinued polycarbonate products to